Hello, YouTube. What's happening out there in the pipe smoking land, in pipe smoking world? I can tell you what's happening here. I'm lighting up a bowl of some great English tobacco. Yes. Margate. Best full English tobacco. This stuff is, is for real. Just like the dude on the songs. This stuff is for real. This is like... The tobacco actually consists of... Um, first of all, it's a long shag cut wadded up, pressed into a wad, inside of this tin, and it consists of um, Orientals, generous amount of Cyprian Latakia, and Virginia's. The tin note itself is completely awesome. I can see why this is a hard one to get and an exciting blend. Um, it has a scent of an earthy, woodsy, smoky scent. Like, you know what it reminds me of? Sort of like beef jerky um, when you go in the store and you buy yourself a package of that beef jerky you know the, the uh, sweet baby ribs or whatever and like an earthy there's an earthy scent a fertile soil kind of uh, scent it's a classic classic uh Oops, I spilled a little bit. Don't want to do that. Stuff's a little too expensive and hard to get. Um, it has like a. Um, it's a classical English blend, is what it is. Kind of like the. Um, a lot of the English blends that have gone the way by the wayside really good I and there's nothing like a good English blend with a good strong cup of coffee I knew that it's very good um, it's a little hard to get your hands on but well worth it it melts together the tobaccos Kind of meld together in this creamy, smooth smoke. Awesomely delicious. Um, first time I smoked it, I, I smoked it right out of the tin, and it kind of halfway down the bowl, it kind of got very hard to tamp. It was kind of moist, too moist. So this time I let it dry out about a, about an hour. I'm not saying you have to let it dry out an hour, but I did. But anyway, I'm smoking it in my um, Savinelli Trevi 606KS. I know. Mm. Very good blend, man.
Perfect, man. Make yourself a good cup of coffee with it, good cup of strong coffee, and get yourself one of these English plates. And you know, and if you can't get, if you can't lay your hands on some Margate, then you might want to try Squadron Leader, which, um, from what I understand, is actually probably close to this. But boy, does this smoke good when you. Dry it for about an hour. Boy, it just smooth good. One of the secrets that I found from pipe smoking now, since I've gotten back to the pipe smoking journey, I call it, uh, hobby, whatever you'd like to call it, pleasure, comfort, relaxation. I, I found that if you dry the tobacco, pack it with my method that I've done. I, I show you that method in some other videos. You can use your own method. Whatever method you want to use is fine. It's just dried um, enough so that you can very lightly tamp it. I mean, very lightly. That's how it smokes best. You don't want to have to like jam your, you know, your tamper down in there. So you want to dry it adequately enough to get it to that point. a good cup of java. I still love my smoking pipes uh, cup of coffee, my smoking pipes coffee mug. I guess down south here it's getting ready to get hot pretty quick. So pretty soon it will be pretty hot to sit out outside. To sit outside at night. Um, but you know, it's the way it is. I live in West Central Florida. And, um, so I got to more or less enjoy as many of these nights as I can. Allison, can you guys sing? I'm going to shut that off for a minute. <laughs> Enough rock and roll for a few minutes. Um... Thought I might show you the coffee I'm drinking. I featured this in one of my other videos. Since the song Java Blues just played, I just picked this up at Walmart. Gavalia, or however you say that. I don't know how it's pronounced. G Gavalia Medium Ground Coffee, Arabica Coffee. Um, by the way, this has a nice room note, this Margate. Um, this is the house blend. Um, so, you know, it's um, their flagship roast made from the fir finest Ar Arabica beans carefully selected from around the world. It's smooth, sweet caramel notes and lightly roasted flavor combined with its refreshing citrus-like finish, 
make for an exquisite coffee experience. One sip and you will see why this medium bodied roast will become the classic choice in your coffee repertoire. Um, I just open this bag of coffee and it is out of the universe. Mmm, boy that is good. But, so I see, yeah, what's going on now? I, not much. Um, don't know. Should I tell another story? <laughs> uh, I've been telling concert stories in some of my videos. Maybe boring some of you. Maybe not. Um, But now I'm getting ready to jar up this Margate, and I just created a label so I ought to show it to you on my printer. It's not exactly the same uh, color because the printer was kind of getting low on one of the inks, but it's close enough. Put it in that lid, see? And I'm going to put it in this jar, this mason jar. And I got my uh, funnel here. Handy funnel. Because unfortunately you cannot leave this tobacco in these tins. I don't know how long it will keep. I don't know how long the clock can run, you know, with the tobacco in these tins and stay fresh. Um, i got some on top here that I dried out and it's kind of loose. I'm going to take it out because I think I'm going to smoke a couple bowls of this. Well, nah, you know what? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll... Eh, maybe I will. <laughs> decisions, decisions, huh? Um, but, you can see it's a long shag cut. Doesn't need much drying time. About an hour will do it. Um, anyway, here we go. I'm gonna dump her in the old in the old hatch. It's a good way to preserve any good pipe tobacco that you have and you do not want anything to happen to it you do not want to go want it to go bad dry out etc etc you pay a lot of money for this stuff um, there's also um, a technique that's blogged about talked about online where you can actually take this no you know what that's the Dunhill I'm thinking of it's not this I will tell you about that in a minute because I'll be jarring up the Dunhill also um in jarring up this tobacco let's see here it won't require it's an English blend so it will not require you to um, completely um, vacuum uh, suck all the air out of the jar as a matter of fact a lot, a lot of people online don't even do that they just tighten the lid and you know, that's sufficient from what I understand but I like to be sure about it and they tell you to leave it like almost an inch from the top so you can press it in a little bit it's not gonna hurt it 
So um, a lot of a lot of guys like to people. Uh, whatever. A lot of pipe smokers like, and you make sure you got all the little bits of tobacco clean from the top so you have a good seal. But anyway, a lot of pipe smokers uh, prefer just to tighten the lid down and it ages better because there's some air in there. Um, you can also do that with the vacuum seal method. You want to make sure there's no bits on here either, okay? Because that will affect your seal. I kid you not. So you go ahead and just put that on. Take your lid. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna vacuum seal it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do it like say half of the amount of time, maybe three quarters the amount of time. Without a meter, it's hard, you can't gauge it, so man, we're going to try it like this. Whoops. Now see, that's where I'm going to leave it, okay? Sorry, but I'm going to leave it like that. I heard it pop, and obviously it did seal, but it's not like a really, really tight seal, I would think. But we're going to leave it like that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you know what? It, it tastes great as it is. So if it is completely vacuum sealed, that's, that's fine. And if there is a little bit of oxygen, that's fine. Uh, I'll just um, do one of these tightening numbers on it and we'll just leave it like it is. I'm not going to OCD it. <laughs> so we're going to tighten this lid. And that's it. Tighten it as tight as you can get it. And she's good to go. This holds these size jars i don't exactly know they're um you know it doesn't actually tell the ounces on this jar i would say they're probably by the looks of it maybe a two ounce i don't know but anyway they fit these um one point uh what is it one point seventy six ounce tins perfectly two ounce this is two ounce net tin by the way this tobacco was purchased in december of twenty sixteen this tobacco is already already aged i mean probably pretty close to six months anyway i'm gonna um I'm gonna move on to the next one and make up a, a label and 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 to I'm gonna jar up the rest of this stuff the King Edwards the Cornell and deal and of course the bigger ones are gonna go in these jars and my Dunhill nightcap and I'm gonna go ahead and just peel this label off and put it on I'm gonna go ahead and work on that and um gonna finish up on that project and um, just wanted to show you uh, you know how I do that how I go about doing that um, But it's a great tobacco, like I said, Margate, best full English blend, man, it is really delicious. And the deal with the uh, Dunhill, <clears throat> it's a process upon which I read where a fellow online blog 
and said basically what you do is you take the tin, put it in a jar, hand tighten it, shake it up, put it away for two weeks, bring it back out, shake it up again, put it back away for two weeks, open it, and it says it's delicious. It's delicious now, but they say it's a lot better. It's less harsh and vinegary or whatever. Um, but it's been good. It's been real. Don't want to bore you all night with uh, my tobacco jarring. Just want to tell you that this is one of my favorite pipes of all time, which I smoke only Englishes in. Awesome pipe. So, uh, with that being said, um, I'm out. My name's Spaceman. This has been Pipe Dreams. And I'll see you on the next one. Maybe in the next galaxy. Later. No, you don't get it. You'll never get it.